Hey guys, this video is a little different. Um, I think it's me finally coming to terms with and being honest about what my weight journey has looked like in the last one and a half years. I don't think I have been entirely honest uh, to myself and to you about what's been going on. Uh, one of the things that really stands out to me is that um, in all of the before and after pictures that I share on my Instagram, a lot of the after pictures are older pictures of what I used to look like in 2017 and 2018. That's not at all what I look like um, today. And it's been such an interesting journey of ups and downs for me that I want to put all my thoughts together and talk about what it's been like in the last couple of years and also address what my weight is right now and what the way forward for me is. That really brings me back to 2016 uh, when I started my weight loss journey. I started my weight loss journey in March of 2016 and up until a whole year later, which is early 2017, I was losing weight pretty consistently and I was very happy with my progress. Um, I had lost about 35 kgs in the first year of my weight loss and I was at 75 kgs and I was very happy. I had no complaints and I must mention here, my goal has always been to come to a healthy weight range for me of around 62 to 65 kgs. Um, so that's not changed and I'm still working towards that. In uh, mid to late 2017, I tried keto. And I probably should not have because I feel like in retrospect, I should have just continued doing what I was doing, even if the progress was a little slower. Uh, but I tried to speed it up and uh, that's when keto happened. Um, and keto was a really interesting experience because I did lose um, about four kgs, I four to five kgs, I came up to 70 kgs and I dropped a lot of inches and I think I had the flattest tummy I've ever had. Um, but the interesting thing about that is as soon as I got off keto, it was just a really hard lifestyle for me to keep up. I actually gained all of the weight back. So uh, towards the end of 2017, I was about 74 kgs and it was like the entire year had passed by and nothing had changed. This was really playing on my mind, uh, but I thought, okay, let's sign this year off as kind of like a break um, and let's start again fresh in 2018. Uh, coming to 2018, um, in Jan, uh, some of you who are following me will know that that's when I kind of went through that really intense weight loss program with a coach uh, where I uh, worked out morning and evening every single day for a month and a half and I was on a really strict macro control diet and it was such a freaking intense program that I not only brought my weight down from 74 to 70 but I also broke into the 60s and uh, my weight stood at 67 point something on the day that I went in for a weigh-in. And uh, the inter again, the interesting thing about this weigh-in was that I kind of did it like how a bodybuilder would do it, which is I was not drinking any water, I hadn't eaten anything the entire morning um, and the previous day a little bit because I kind of wanted that wow factor when I stand on the scale and I wanted to show it to myself that damn, you can really do something this drastic. Um, so when I stood on the scale, I was 67 kgs and everything was amazing. And um, But the very next day, uh, I started eating and drinking and nothing crazy, just like a regular diet, but my weight came back. Um, you know, I started having some water weight and my weight came back to about 70, 72. Um, and so that's how the start of 2018 looked like for me. And the rest of the year, that's kind of when I started uh, dating my now husband and he was in Delhi at the time so I was pretty much traveling to Delhi um, every single month and uh, 
you know, Delhi being the incredible foodie city that it is, we just let go. Um, I was not super strict with my workouts and I was traveling back and forth and I was eating all of this incredible food um, and not really monitoring my diet. And uh, the most unfortunate thing that happened towards the end of 2018 was I had a massive knee injury. Um, and it's it was so totally avoidable. Um, so I was in Bangalore and this one day I had done like a really heavy weight training session. I did deadlifts and then the next day I flew to Delhi and we went to the gym in the evening. I did another heavy weight training session. I did squats. Um, and the next morning, uh, the both of us went to a park and we were kind of just like running around and we got into like a race. Um, and I busted my knees. Uh, I, I, my knees gave up. It was extremely sore. I couldn't walk properly. Um, and yeah, I had a couple of months of just trying to recover from that injury and it took so long to recover. While I started the year with a bang, I sort of ended the year at the heaviest I have ever weighed um, since I started losing the weight and I came to about 78 kgs. Um, like I, I'm a little sad about it um, because there was a few things that were beyond my control, a few things that were in my control but I couldn't do anything about it because those were the choices that I made at the time. I actually got engaged uh, towards the end of 2018 um, at my heaviest weight. My wedding got scheduled for April 2019 and I was really excited so I kind of just wanted to get back onto my fitness and I was trying anything and everything at this point to uh, get fit. Um, so that's when I uh, started working out um, pretty intensely all over again, dieting all over again and leading up to my wedding I kind of lost about 4 kgs so from 78 kgs I came to 74 kgs and that's the weight that I got married at and I was really happy um, because I think I was quite you know happy with all the other things that were happening in my life the weight was like not that important. Uh, immediately after my wedding I moved to uh, Singapore and that's where I am now and uh, Singapore was also really interesting in the beginning uh, which was around uh, mid-2019 so same time last year. Everyone here is so freaking fit, everyone is working out, everyone eats well, uh, everyone's on this fitness trip so I kind of got consumed by that and uh, I was also like I got I got a gym membership I pushed myself I started working out and uh, I managed to bring my weight down to like 72 kgs uh, but again Singapore being the city that it is it's just uh, an incredible foodie city and there's a lot of experiences to be had, a lot of food to be eaten. So my husband and I just had like a really good time. We were also in our first year of uh, being married. And uh, because of that, I had a few weight fluctuations. And then the lockdown happened. Uh, lockdown was just not, not, not at all good for my weight. Uh, because it just kind of gets like really hard to cook three times a day and clean up because we don't have that much help here. Um, we would order in, we're still doing it, but we ordered in quite a bit and we're, we're trying to be regular with workout, but as you know, diet is the biggest component. Um, so we've just been kind of managing and things have not been like ideal, right? Right now I'm at about, well, I'm at about 75 to 76 kgs and I guess the message in all of this for you is that weight loss journey is just not a straight shot to the top um, or to the bottom. Uh, it's riddled with ups and downs and it's okay. And uh, the biggest thing is that it just takes an insane, insane, insane amount of time to get to where you want to be. And so that brings us to where we are now and uh, I plan on getting back on my fitness journey. I feel it in me. I feel myself becoming quite restless um, and uh, I, I'm raring to go. So I'm really excited to plan out my diet, plan out my workout and I'm going to be sharing a lot of that with you. Um, and in fact, I think this is a good time to urge you to sort of uh, follow uh, me here on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. I am going to be documenting uh, my journey from this point on, on YouTube. Join me and hopefully this will help some of you in your weight loss journey as well or fitness journey. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm planning on moving a lot of my content that I share typically on my Instagram to YouTube and to a video format because this is the one I'm most comfortable with. So do subscribe and do uh, follow 
follow me for more content um, but I wanted to take this opportunity to um, lay it all out and say that this is where I am acknowledge it for myself inform you if you're interested um, and yeah take it from this point on I'm really feeling it I'm excited and I'm ready to go and I hope you follow Bye.